Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Now today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, 2003 Land Rover Defender 110 TD5 County Station Wagon that you can see lurking behind me here. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of uh, engine starting and idling action at the end of both of them actually. Hope you like them. Okay, let's have a look around this uh, 2003 Defender 110 TD5 County Station Wagon. Finished in frozen white with a uh, matte black roof and black uh, accents, like um, the eye wheel arch eyebrows and stuff. Um, also got black checker plate on the wing tops, the modesty covers and the rear quarters. It's got panoramic style rear windows. I wouldn't say they're the full panoramic ones because as you can see, the, uh, um, they, this bit isn't glass inside, shall we say, you can't see through this bit. But um, they look panoramic from the outside and they go round the rear tail windows as well. Uh, mud flaps all round, adjustable tow pack, rear step. This one's in nine seater spec. XS style side steps, boost alloys with a matching set of four, I think, five. Yeah, the spares are Pirelli cross contact. Um, the four road tyres are Maxxis, Maxxis Worm Drive All Terrains, which all look pretty new. I think they've been on in the past year. We sold this car about two years ago to a couple out in, uh, in Essex, and um, it's only come back to us because uh, uh, the lady that used to drive it has had a knee operation and uh, can't drive it anymore. Um, but yeah, they've uh, looked after it and maintained it and stuff. Uh, I don't think the DRLs work, in fairness. I don't think they've ever been wired up. I don't think they were done uh, when we sold it a couple of years ago. It's also got snorkel. Right, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Um, paint, considering it's white, is holding up reasonably well. There's a couple of runs in the paint just down there. It's obviously been repainted at some stage. Um, the checker plate on the wing tops, the black coating is flaking off. Perhaps could do with replacing with new. Depends how you feel. Um, looking down the near side, a couple of dinks and dents in the doors and stuff, as you'd expect with a Defender. But uh, near side front wing all looks pretty good. Let's see if we can show you anything under here with these big tyres on. Front outrigger there. And then A post up to the scuffle. Um, screen rubber looks pretty new and there's no cracks or anything in the screen. There's a bit of paint loss up there on top of the screen. Roof panel. No sunroof on this one. Near side door, bit of electrolytic reaction just at the base of the door just down there and going along a little bit along there as well. So we'll look at that door frame. See how it's holding up. A little bit of corrosion coming through in the bottom of the door frame. As you can see, there's a little trail of corrosion just there. Um, where it's come off the bottom of the door. It's not too bad. Uh, interior wise, it's all right. It's, you know, considering it's uh, nearly 20 years old and it's done over 150,000 miles. There will be a few marks on it here and there. It has been carpeted. It's fair to say the floor mat carpets are a little bit rough and ready, but uh, they do the job. Uh, it's got the cubby box. Uh, it's also got this um, doubled in stereo, uh, which apparently is DAB, although I cannot see a DAB aerial on it anywhere. Um, passenger seat base has got a repaired nick just there and the uh, Casing for the passenger seat belt has gone walkabout. Um, headlining is a little bit grubby here and there, and it has lost its um, lens for the courtesy light. Near side rear door again, a little bit of reaction just coming up down the base of the door there. Uh, I think the previous owner replaced these Alpine seals, he told me he did. Unfortunately, hasn't provided us with any bills, including the history we uh, 
gave him a substantial history on it a couple of years ago and hasn't come back to us. But I think he's replaced the Alpine light um, rubbers. Rear passenger door has had a bit of work around there. Usual spot where they rust. And the door card here is a bit tired down the base. Rear seats do the job. Seat belts are actually underneath the seat at the moment. Um, near side rear wing, we've got a bit of reaction coming up there. I'll show you underneath here. And then around the tail end, uh, we've got a bit of rust on the top, top trim there. We haven't attempted to recoat the cross member. I'd rather people see it, see it how it is. Slightly dented actually just there. Um, up there, let's have a look inside. It's got the full length, the full height dog guard in it as well. Rear seats all with seat belts. And you can see the inside of the panoramic windows there. Uh, door card, a few marks and scrapes and a bit of a crack in the base of it there. Obviously from uh, luggage and dogs and things like that. Tailgate is the later type, so it hasn't got, you don't get a rotten frame on, the, on these later ones. Looking down the offside again, a couple of few minor dinks in the, uh, in the barrel sides on the doors and stuff. But offside rear wing looks okay. Couple of spots of reaction just down here on the offside rear door. And again, I think this door has been, yeah, it's had a section let in there. Um, which is the usual spot where they rust. The escutcheon plate is missing from the rear door there. Not difficult to get. And again, a bit, a bit chewed up down the base there. slight dinks in the barrel size you can probably see what see it on the video there just one there and one there driver's door again a little bit of bubbling here and there on it and paint loss down the base actually we'll come back to that um offside front wing good the only thing you have got is just a bit of sort of rusty water which we can't seem to get off of there um on the on the wing from the from the snorkel um, otherwise, front wing all good. And then up here on the scuttle, a couple of spots there that we can't get off. The snorkel's got a couple of bits of surface rust on it. And then in here, driver's door let's have a look at this a bit of a hole just in the very back of the frame just here but otherwise it's holding up reasonably well there's a few few sharp bits of rust underneath there but it's not too bad that's it's um x engineering pedal lock which i recommend for every uh, defender pre-puma they're brilliant uh, we recommended this to the last owner he had it fitted uh, it bolts through the floor and it covers the pedals when uh, when not in use and all locks up and everything. Um, again, driver's seat bit stained in the in the dirty in the on the centre bit there and again a, a repaired nick just there. Steering wheel's a bit worn as you might expect given the mileage, and it's lost one of its knobs off the heater there. Still works though. Um, as I say, headlining a bit grubby. You can see a couple of marks over there in the near side corner, but. She's a nice, nice honest Land Rover, if you ask me. Show you inside there. So 
there we have it, I think. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com for any more information. Right, quick video of start up and running on this uh, 2003 Defender 110 TD5 County Station Wagon. Lights come on and go off again, as they should. And now we'll move to the underbonnet. There we have a TD5 110 engine. And the turbo, um, turbo heat shield is wrapping slightly. Bolt missing from there, yeah. Bolt missing from there, I'll touch it, quite hot. Otherwise, not doing anything it shouldn't. Pulls healthily. There we have it.